Okay, so you kind of saw me melt down a little bit um, in the car earlier. Um, I was really, really upset. Um, the I don't even know what she is. I don't know if she's a receptionist, an office manager. Uh, I don't even know what her title is. Um, she was all of my business today at the doctor's office. Um, and I even told her, like, she kept questioning me about the wheelchair. Like, we need documentation why you're in a wheelchair. I'm like, because it's easier to get around. Um, I can get up and walk for you if you want. That's why I have my cane. Because y'all need me to get up and walk. Um... I'm extremely tired, that's why I look like this. I'm wore out. I came home and I went ahead and while I was up and about I made some phone calls and um did some cleaning and I actually cooked dinner, which is an accomplishment. It's pretty sad that doing two loads of dishes well, three loads of dishes, cooking dinner and doing two loads of laundry is like I feel like I've been working on the farm all day like I am utterly exhausted pun intended so and I'm mentally drained I'm just so mentally drained she berated me and um scolded me in the lobby of this medical facility um, which I will be checking into HIPAA about um, I <laughs> I hate to be that person that, that starts suing people left and right um, but I'm turning into that person that is not going to take anybody's BS anymore um, these doctors and medical facilities, um, and not just the doctors, but the people working in them, um, they need to know that they put their pants on one leg at a time, just like we do. Um, it, I mean, it's really shitty, um. I mean, she asked, was asking me very personal things that should have been asked to the side. Um, now, what I disclose with you, I don't mind disclosing with you, and I choose to disclose with you. However, she was asking me questions that I felt obligated to answer, um, and... I, oh my god, um, she just was a real bitch about it, um, so I will be looking into filing a claim with HIPAA about it, um, I'm tired, I'm just so tired of taking shit from people, so tired of it, um, you know, uh, from now on, uh, you know what, that, uh, rheumatologist for me about them, I'm not paying them, and I'm probably going to write them a nice, neat little letter explaining why I'm not paying them, and if they have a problem with it, they can send me a letter back. It'll probably just go in the trash. I'm not paying them. Fuck them. Um, Mayo Clinic, I've decided that um, I, uh, I'm going to pay for the testing in the rheumatologist. Um, however, I'm going to itemize and, um, take out what, um, was paid for, uh, or what is owed to the neurologist, and I'm going to write them a nice little letter. It's been three months since I've been there, and I still haven't been able to call. Sorry, I was moving around a bit. I was trying to find my stuff. Um, it's been three months since I've been there, and I still haven't been able to call because I'm still so pissed off about the situation. Um, and therapy, you know, she 
she tries to tell me to stay centered and uh, that it's not helping, okay? You can only take so much shit before you, you finally have enough of it and you're just like, okay, I'm done. You're not going to do this to me anymore. Just because you have a medical degree does not mean you can treat me this way. And I think that's what a lot of doctors need is that smack in the face saying, hey, I'm a person, you're a person, we're on the same level, amigo, you know, I'm asking you for help. I'm paying for your help. If you're not going to help me, I'm not fucking paying you. Um, that's the bottom line. Um, another issue is, um, my cardiologist, uh, the old one, kept saying there's no rush for me to get back to work. Well, if you want to get paid, then you might want to get me back to work soon. Hmm. Um, I've just, I've had a really rough day. Um, and I've, I've had a lot to think about today. And, um, my mind is just swimming and swimming and... Um, hang on, I've got a phone call. Let me see if it's even worth taking. Nope. Nobody I want to talk to. Um, so, you know, and I'm thinking when I went to pain management, you know, I didn't think they were going to help me, but the way they did it the way she did it it was absolutely ridiculous absolutely um i really can't believe it. and the, the the bitch about it is is one of my bosses believe it or not one of my fucking bosses was in there um That could potentially ruin my, um, going back to work. Because of what she asked and how she asked it in front of one of my bosses. So, she probably just ruined my going back to work. I mean, in, in two ways, in one visit. By not giving me the pain medication to go back to work, and by asking me certain questions that would hinder me going back to work. So, I mean, she just royally screwed me. And... She had no fucking business even talking to me. She had no business talking to me whatsoever. Because if they would have done this shit right to begin with, then this would never have happened. I don't, I don't understand how this even became a fucking problem. I mean, everything she has said in the past month has been one contradiction after another. It, it doesn't make sense. Like, at all. I'm like, do you not fucking hear yourself speak? Like, and Andrew even mentioned, like, from now on, maybe we should get what she says in writing. That way, you know, we can take it to her and tell her. I'm, I'm half tempted, you know, if I continue going there saying, look, uh, from now on, when you speak to me, I need it in writing because you contradict yourself way too many times. And I'm like, I just, I don't even want to fucking do it. I don't even want to fucking deal with them anymore. Like, that's just, that's just, that's how bad it is, is. I don't even want to fucking deal with them anymore. Like, I just, I don't even want to go, I don't, I don't even want to deal with them. Like, it's just ridiculous. I mean, I got berated because, I got fucking scolded because I was in a wheelchair. And I've been in that office several times in that wheelchair. And today she decided to pay close attention to my wheelchair and ask me why I'm in the wheelchair. 
because my leg was hurting, and instead of hurting my arm using the cane, we brought the wheelchair. The fuck does it matter to you? The doctor is the one that needs to know, not you. Who the fuck are you? Oh my god, anyways, okay, I'm sorry, I just spent ten minutes on this rant. I'm just so pissed off. Oh my god. I just had a horrible day. Anyways, my main point of this video, well, besides to rant, um, was just to let everybody know that I am in the middle of doing some research and, um, I am putting together, um, I am so tired, oh my god. Sorry, um, it's amazing the, doing the least little bit of housework just for wore me out. And that's what I try to explain to her is I've been recluse in my house for a month. I can't hardly do anything. I can't go to work. I, I've not seen, I've not spent time with my son at all. I've not done anything. Um, doing the dishes is, um, that I hate to do is, um, is a reward <laughs> to me now. Um, and she had the audacity to say, well, we can't go by how you feel. Well, you feel pain. Your pain management. <sighs> okay, anyways, I'm sorry. Um... The whole advocacy, um, I'm putting, I'm doing a lot more research, um, especially after she, um, attacked me. <laughs> well, what makes you think you have this? Um, every symptom that I have? Well, who's your kidney doctor? Um, I don't have one. I don't. Um, not all phloxies have the same symptoms. Um, in case you all uh, weren't aware of that. Um, I want to put that out there. I thought that was understood. Um, yeah. So, I'm working on getting the information out there to the public, to the doctors, to, to the people. Um, I'm working on ways to do that. Um, I swear I've not taken any meds since, like, it's 8.49 p.m. I've not taken any meds since, like, 5 o'clock. Um, this is just really how tired I am. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get, um, things organized, um, I'm trying to, um, get correspondence together with other groups and other, um, Floxy advocacy, uh, groups and, um, show, uh, a activist groups, whatever you want to call them. Um, just to get the word out, um, and get the story straight, because even though she knew what I was talking about when I said for on toxicity, um, I don't think she knew exactly what it was, because she automatically went to renal failure. Um... That's not a major symptom. I mean, you can have, I, I mean, you can have renal failure or renal complications or what have you um, as a phloxy, of course. Um, that's one of the symptoms. But uh, she came off of that, like, that was, like, the main symptom. I'm like, I don't have that. Sorry. 
Um, but I have just about every other symptom. Does that count? Um, so, um, so yeah, just letting y'all know I am in the middle of research and everything, and I was trying to do a live stream. I've not yet figured out the whole live streaming thing. I downloaded one of the things, and it was way too complicated for my brain to process at the moment. Um, I'm just entirely too exhausted to process anything right at this moment. Um, I think, uh, well, shit. I was going to say, I think I might eat me a bowl of Cheerios and probably go to bed. But I just realized we're out of milk, and that makes me sad. Um, <laughs> so, um, I'm going to work on the live streaming, um, Hopefully, I get some more subscribers. Uh, I think I've got a whole ten of you. Woohoo! We're in the double digits. Um, I really, 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 really want to get more people in the southern Indiana and local area. I mean, I, really, I want a wider base, but I, I primarily want to get everybody around in this area. Because um, I want us all to talk and collaborate and um, and, and, uh, kind of have our own little group, um, aside from the bigger groups, um, because these doctors are not aware, and the doctors who are, are aware, or their medical associates, uh, who work in their office who are aware, obviously are not aware exactly of what it is. Um, so, um, we need to get the word out, and we need to keep people from getting more sick, we need to keep people from getting sick, um, and it just, we, um, we're the only ones that are going to, um, we need to be those people, if that makes any sense. Nobody else is going to do it. We need to. Somebody's got to do it. So, we need to. So, I'm going to leave you with that thought. You know, um, what else are you doing in your life that you can't take? couple hours during the week or during the weekend to help for a very, very worthy cause, um, to help prevent others from getting sick. Even if you're not a Floxy yourself, um, if you just know Floxy or you just stumbled across this by accident and you don't even know what the fuck a Floxy is and you're having to go through different YouTubes and and Google and everything to figure out what the hell a Floxy is because you have no clue what the hell I'm talking about. Um, help us out. Um, volunteer and help us out. Um, we really need to get the word out. Um, we need to tell these doctors and we need to tell the people stay away from these antibiotics. Um, I try to tell everybody in my family, and I feel like I'm telling them, on, I feel like it falls on deaf ears, because I tell them, and then we move on to the next subject, and I'm like, no, you remember what I just told you, do not take these antibiotics, or you're going to end up like me, please don't take these antibiotics, um, so yeah, I'm going to leave you with that, um, somebody's got to do it, so why not us? Um, just, uh, let that sink in, um, and if you want to help, comment below.